So I have this paint cabinet that I keep paints in. And I had these posters that have been bugging me because I don't have a place to put posters. And I had three of them. I had this little sub gun, this Russian sub gun, the uh, Makarov, and then the SKS. And I've had these posters for years. I got them from a friend of mine that sells them on eBay. And uh, I've had it for a long time. I just don't have a lot of wall space to put up posters. But like I said, I've had this uh, paint cabinet that has just had this sort of black uh, doors. So I figured what I would do is put it on here. Put them on here like wallpaper or shelf paper or something. I use this uh, 3M adhesive uh, that I've had for a long time too. And I'm kind of using up the rest of this can and I'm kind of wallpapering these onto here. And it'll end up looking like a pretty cool cabinet, I think. And it does look like I'm literally going to use the end of this can to uh, finish this, putting this on. So I spray a little bit of the adhesive on the surface and then a little bit of the adhesive on the paper. Wait a few moments for them to get tacky and then just spread it on. And like I say, it just goes on like a wallpaper or shelf paper or something, like a giant sticker. Once it's on, I just took a knife and cut down the center there so the door can open. And I'll take a look in a second when it's all done. Now just in case there was any question at all, of course I am using the bayonet from the poster uh, to do the cutting in this project. Like butter. Alright, so then this is pretty much the finished project. What used to just be sort of a metal cabinet out here in the shed is now, well, it kind of looks like a gun cabinet or something, I guess, but. Anyway, hopefully it looks a little bit better. I think it looks cool. And then, uh, I don't know how much these posters cost. Like I say, I got them a while back, but they've been sitting around, and I figure it's only a matter of time before something fell on them and crushed them and ruined them or they got wet or something. So at least now I've got a chance to look at them, and it covers up this cabinet. I figure I'll just jump into my cabinet here. I'm always curious to see what uh, kind of ideas people have for their tools and stuff. This is where I keep a lot of my stuff out in the shed. Uh, just so it's all together, pretty much anything liquid. So I basically got my cleaners and paints and caulk, I guess. And then I use these trays and stuff. This is in the lid off an old toolbox and some different trays. Anything that has the potential to leak or to maybe the, for the container to fail, uh, I try to keep in those so that they prevent leaks. But looks like I did have a leak back here. And that's just because it gets so hot out here in these sheds in Arizona sometimes. I do keep a fire extinguisher right there. But, uh, anyway. So there's the modification to the paint cabinet. 